Hey YouTube, it's Sean Griffin RC Planes. This is going to be video number two of our programming an AR636 receiver using the Spectrum app here in my tablet with the Bluetooth module. This is my foam board test RC airplane. This little blue flag represents the motor. All the control surfaces are a different color to help all of us look at different things as we're programming this together. Where we left off last was we bound up the transmitter to the plane, uh, enabling safe select with the, the bind plug in, bind plug out, and then bind the radio process and we we started with a fresh receiver it was programmed and you know to default back to zero and the elevator and rudder were reversed so we used the my tablet with the bluetooth module in the as3x programmer app and we reversed the rudder and the elevator and that's all we've done so far so i figured in this video we can run through the app real quick just to kind of see what's inside the app and then we'll start with uh, the control services and we'll set each of them up in the app. So let's uh, let's pull up my tablet and take a look see. Let's, um, I'm gonna power down the plane and we're gonna connect the Bluetooth module to it and get it connected to the, to the tablet here. So, Bluetooth module plugs into the bind port on the receiver where it says bind program I have a little three inch extension here I'm gonna plug in the Bluetooth module to it and I'll lay it right there on the wing and we'll open up the app go ahead and close it here and we'll open it all back up from from scratch okay so AS3X programmer, the first things it asks, it says uh, it wants permission to turn on the, the Bluetooth. So yes. And it's very important to make sure your volume is turned all the way up. It's communicating through Bluetooth, and, you know, Bluetooth headphones. So it, it goes through the volume. So make sure your volume is all the way up. And you know, the speaker, the media, how, however many different uh, options you have for volume like when I press volume then I have a down arrow and it brings up uh, just a and, and it brings up ringtone media notifications and system now I just make sure all of them are full blast all right so transmitter goes on first we've got the Bluetooth module sitting right here the app is pulled up I'm going to power the plane. We'll let it get bound. Okay. And now on the blue on the uh, on the app up in the top there's a little Bluetooth symbol. You you click on that. Then it says Horizon BLE. You tap that. I press on AS3X programmer app in the tablet here. And then turning on the transmitter. <laughs> Said throttle was high. Now I'm turning on the plane. We'll let it get bound up. The Bluetooth uh, adapter is flashing. And it's. Well, we got a, we got a servo making a little, little noise. Then the Bluetooth uh, icon symbol in the top left, tap it. And then tap the Horizon BLE. Now the app is connected to the plane. And you can see that we have our plane named YouTube. And we'll go here to settings and initial setup. And we'll run through all these real quick. Receiver orientation. If you want to change orientation, just drag your finger across the screen. That was sideways, then up and down changes it that way. 
so we'll put it back where it was and then I just hit the back button the flight mode switch you know it's on aux one if it was on unassigned that is where you need um, if you ever got a bind and fly and you need to teach the receiver that you want to use your gear channel to turn safe on and off and you pull both sticks together and you flip the switch back and forth that will take it from unassigned to gear so same thing we're just doing it right here wing type that may, that may have just changed our uh, how we reversed the elevator and the rudder but we'll fix it again uh, if you want to change the wing type which we need to you just drag your finger across the wings there's normal that's what we need and there's many different settings all right so we'll put that back to normal and then the same with the tail you just drag your finger across the bottom many different choices there so we'll leave that as normal now I'm in the back button Let's make sure our transmitter says normal and then we'll get a surface set up and we let's see if we need to change the uh, elevator and a rudder yeah we need to reverse the <clears throat> the elevator hitting back oops surface setup we're gonna tap on the rudder down here change that back to reverse look and here's the the wings now this is what you can the travel we're gonna set the travel when we figure out how far we need to you know change change our rates so we don't have to change the servo travel in the transmitter we can change it here in the app to you know if we need our elevator servo to only go 85 percent of its max we can do that here in travel and still leave our transmitter at a hundred so we'll go through all that too hitting back button back button fail safe so we can change it to hold last position or preset and preset is however you're holding your sticks when you power it on we can talk about that too and port assignment right now it's set up in the in the standard default you know two for ailerons three for elevator four for rudder you know one for throttle but if you want to change it for whatever reason like i'll tap on the ailerons and whatever's in red is what we have available right now so you could we could change it i'm hitting the back button um the wizard is what we're going to follow when we do this uh, whole setup you know here is the name in the top right hand corner see the arrow going to the next page the next page is receiver orientation the page after that is flight mode channels after that's the wings so we'll go through all that here shortly so we have our plane bound up to the transmitter and we're connected to the AS3X programmer app and we're going to go through the wizard and the third step in the wizard is control services and for right now we'll just do the ailerons to show how we can adjust the travel in the app where we can leave the transmitter servo uh, travels still at their default you know they haven't been touched you know that way the gyro in the receiver and the and the as3x and the safe all those adjustments are in the receiver we're not limiting anything in the transmitter you know if we program the receiver that we need the ailerons to move 70 percent of the travel you know then we then we make that you know the program then the as3x and the safe select is going to think that 70 percent is 100 percent so we're, we're not limiting it you know wh when you start changing your dual rates in your in your transmitter and your travel adjustment in the transmitter not the receiver then the receivers going to try to use you know a hundred percent of its ability to give you stabilization and the safe 
but your transmitter is holding it back if that makes sense so you want to change the travels in the receiver when all possible so right now I'm gonna connect to the app and we're gonna go in the wizard here and the very first thing is how we named it YouTube and then in the top right there's the arrow and I'll show you guys this on the screen too and the next step is receiver orientation which we already have it pins to the rear and the uh, the spectrum symbols facing up just like it is on the app and the next arrow over is the flight mode channel we'll leave it on gear so we'll use our our uh, fifth channel the gear switch channel 5 to turn safe select on and off which will be changing our flight mode from 1 to 2 the next arrow over is our wing and tail configuration we're going to leave it as normal which that's what we have is a normal setup two receivers in the wing but they're using a Y harness so it's only one channel so that's you know one one servo for the wing even though there's only two it's only one channel and one for the elevator and one for the rudder the next arrow over surface setup now this is where we reversed the elevator you can see that it's reversed and then we reversed the uh, rudder also sorry hit the wrong button here and there's where we reversed the rudder and the ailerons are normal now right here I have in blue marked 70% of ailerons travel and I have 100% marked on the transmitter here you can see that the aileron the red aileron goes up to 100% of its travel everything is default in the transmitter and default in the receiver so let's change the travel of the aileron to 70% in the app not the transmitter so I'm going to touch travel and then you drag your finger in the center but if you want the directions on how to change that you hit the question mark and it says if we're you know adjusting both of them which we are because we only have one uh, a Y harness one channel controlling both of them you drag your finger in the center just like so so we're just going to bring it down it wasn't 100 we're going to bring it down to 70 and it's a little touchy when I get quiet I'm thinking and then there's 70 so then I'm just going to hit the back button to get out of it now when we move the transmitter stick to full deflection of the aileron it will go to 70 now not to 100 okay I've been noticing that the app will time out if you're not using it uh, you know if it's sitting dormant for a minute it'll disconnect so the red line is 100% of the travel okay and we're gonna change it in the app we were at surface setup uh, ailerons right now it's at uh, I'm gonna tap on travel and it's at 99 because I was messing with it and I'll drag it up uh, up and down a little bit and you can see that you'll see that it changes in a minute see how how the ailerons just twitched because I've been messing with it all right so we're gonna drag it down to 70 there we go it's at 70 so now when I move the transmitter stick full deflection is 70 percent so that's what we want all right guys a little behind the scenes so my tablet recorder I'm recording the screen of the tablet right now this little blue thing right here there's a stop button and uh, we don't want to stop this it. playing I'm gonna show you guys all this but when I go to surface setup and ailerons and we're gonna do the travel again and then you drag your finger up and down here as soon as I touch in that in that black box then my 
screen recorder only shows my finger it doesn't show anything else so right now I'm gonna I'm gonna drag it down right see the ailerons moving because we're connected so so there it is 70 and then backspace and backspace now you see aileron goes to 70 so now I'm gonna hit stop on my tablet and I'll show you guys what it just recorded okay initial setup surface setup aileron travel now look here as soon as I touch this black box you're gonna see my finger only that's only my finger going up and down I mean that, I mean that's my finger right this second so anyways I'm trying to get all this stuff figured out so bear with me guys, bear with me. Now I'm going to hit backspace. And backspace. <laughs> Alright, well that's how we're going to uh, set the control service, servo travel, just like we did. And uh, like I showed you guys a minute ago, I noticed that it times out. So if you guys are ever using it, and something's not happening, up there on the, on the in, in the app in the top right hand corner, that looks like a Oh, like a couple of arrows going in circles, and that shows that it's connected. And a time or two when I was doing something, and then I noticed that it didn't change on the on the plane. Finally, I looked up and I saw that, and it had a line going through it on an angle, kind of like the Ghostbuster sign, show that it was disconnected. So we've got to be quick moving forward. And bear with me; I'm trying to figure out if I just need to hold the tablet in front of the camera to where we can see everything. Or keep doing what I'm doing or I'm trying to figure out some kind of a um, like a picture-in-picture picture. so we'll, we'll see what what's gonna happen for uh, episode 3 we'll go well that point we'll set all the control surfaces and uh, move, move right along through the wizard and eventually it gets to safe select and all that so we'll we'll do all this together hey guys uh, if you're new to this channel and you haven't subscribed please do and click the like that tells the YouTube algorithm that you guys like uh, what you're watching and then that puts my videos out in front of other people and then that keeps the subscriber count going up and when the subscriber count goes up that just makes me want to do this this is a Friday evening I could be doing other things with my buddies or something but I don't want to I'm, I'm having a good time doing this helping you guys and, uh, and helping me too you know it's a uh, it's everybody's happy put it that way so subscribe if you haven't I really appreciate that I'd like to mail this FMS Advantage jet out to somebody pretty quick so uh, once we hit a thousand it's gonna be somebody's okay guys hey thank you so much I got a couple other odd end videos coming this weekend and uh, I guess that's it hey until next time you'll see me here Pshh.